Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our Power Commander for Sport Bikes Buying Guide at Revzilla.com. So in this video, I'm going to break down Power Commander. I have a Power Commander 5 in my hand. We know there was a Power Commander 3. That was its predecessor. We'll talk about selecting the right Power Commander, what you should expect from an installation standpoint, and a setup standpoint, but first let's talk about why you would use a Power Commander. What a Power Commander does is it connects to your bike and it sits in between your ECU or electronic control unit and your fuel injectors. So what it does is it optimizes the air fuel ratio on your bike depending on how you're set up. So remember, most bikes come off the assembly line and this would be any bike. This would be a metric bike, a sport bike. It's gonna be a big V twin, whatever you're looking at and they're set up for fuel economy as well as EPA emissions. Most of the time that means they run lean. It means that the engine absolutely could do with a little bit more fuel in the air fuel ratio to get better performance from the bike, even on a stock bike. Now it goes without saying, if you've put a new air filter on your bike, if you've messed with either the air going in or the air coming out through an exhaust, whether it be a full system or a slip on, that tuning the bike could give you a dramatic difference in how the bike responds. We would actually recommend that anybody that changes the air filter or the exhaust in any fashion would have some type of fuel management or air fuel ratio management system like a Power Commander installed on their bike to get the most out of it. And what you should expect once you install that Power Commander is going to be a better torque curve, a better power curve. The engine will typically run a little bit cooler because it's not running lean and you're just going to overall sense a more responsive bike. This is done all day long on track bikes in the race universe, but even for stock bikes for street riding use, there still are performance and rideability gains to be made there. So what I have is a Power Commander 5 for a Yamaha. Yamaha R6 this is the 2010 to 2012 version. And how I would find out if that was the right one for me, it's very simple. Selecting a Power Commander, pop on Revzilla.com, select your ride, shop by ride, and then go to Fuel Management or search for Power Commander, and you're going to see there's only going to be one unit for your bike. So it's either a Power Commander 5 or a Power Commander 3, and it's going to be set up specifically for your bike. So the anatomy here of what you have is you have your Power Commander unit that's going to install and stay on your bike, and that has a USB so you're able to reprogram it. What you do is you download a map, which will be mapped specifically for your bike, either in a stock configuration or an aftermarket setup. Dinojet actually has tw over 20,000 maps, and they're always releasing new ones based on the performance components you could put on your bike. So that's going to be on the Dinojet website. You get those up-to-date maps. Looking at the rest of the Power Commander, you'll notice this big cable, this interceptor. What it's going to do is you're going to unplug the cable that's coming from your ECU to your fuel injectors, and this sits in between. Now, as we move into install, Power Commander can go one of two different ways. Now, if I was sitting here talking to you about big Harley Davidsons, I'd say it's a one on the one to three scale of difficulty for Power Commander. It's a very easy install. But when you get into metric bikes, when you get into sport bikes, bikes with big fairings where the engines aren't as exposed, I'm gonna give it in that two range, and that's a medium to medium hard rating. Remember, when you select your bike on Revzilla.com, we're gonna take you to that Power Commander page. On that page will be a link to the color PDF, and you can walk through it, and that color PDF is going to tell you what you need to connect, what you need to get to, as well as what you're going to remove in a lot of aspects. Each bike's a little different. Now in this R6, there's only really two plugs, and depending on how comfortable you are taking off the fairings in your R6 and getting to your engine, that's really up to you with a complete tool set in your garage and a six pack if you can do that on a Sunday afternoon. Now if we were talking about something like an S1000RR, there could be eight different plugs, you know, four cylinders, two injectors per cylinder. There's a lot of things going on on both sides of the bike. Now, if you're that comfortable of a wrench, I say go for it. But if you're not, and many times in certain instances, I'm not gonna be too when it gets that granular on a bike, you can also you'd always take your power commander, buy your part, take it down to your local shop. And remember, on, especially on sport bikes, they do these all the time. So once you have your Power Commander installed on your bike, remember, it stays on your bike. It's going to be snaked within the engine, within the frame. There's Velcro in the box that's gonna allow you to keep it. A lot of times, guys, put these under your seats. Now you're gonna have your Power Commander that lives there. Now you need to set it up. And setting it up means getting the right fuel map on the Power Commander, because remember, it sits between that ECU and the fuel injectors, so you have to make sure you set up that map accordingly. So what you would do is while Dynojet does include a disc with the software and 20,000 maps in the box, they're constantly setting up bikes and, do, and running them on the dyno and releasing new maps for all different types of bikes and configurations. So I might be running a stock R6, or my R6 might have a K&N filter with a Leo pipe on it. It might be a, a full system or a bolt-on. There are maps with all different configurations and you want to pick the map that's the closest to your bike. And a lot of times you can get it spot on because Dynojet's been around forever. Remember, visit their website, 
you can browse through the maps, buy your make and model and aftermarket setup, and then you're gonna download the map to your computer, use the DinoJet software to then transfer the map onto the unit itself. And you do that by not installing it from your bike, but by connecting this micro USB from your computer's USB slot into the slot on the side. And it's really that simple. Now, once you have the map installed, there are a few things that you can do. You can hand tune that map yourself, or depending on if you're riding, especially on a touring bike, on a big bike that you're gonna cover lots of different altitudes, again, that air, that weather condition, barometric pressure, it might change. So what you can also get is an auto-tune that would plug into one of the ports on the top. And what the auto-tune does is it might tunes the power commander based on how you ride based on outside conditions as you're changing elevations and as the air density might change in the bike remember it's all about air fuel ratio so anytime that air in or air out is going to change even with regards to the composition of that air, you can always retune the power commander, retune the fuel air ratio to get the optimal performance out of the bike. But the key component is once you have it set up, you really need to get an optimal map for your bike and then you're off to the races. Remember, it is an electronic at Revzilla.com. So once you open the box, it is yours. So be very careful and make sure you know what you're buying before you make that investment. The easiest way to do that is gonna be to give our gear geeks a shout if you have any questions. See us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. But before you get to that step, there's a ton of great resources on forums out there in the universe, but you can also click right here to visit RevZilla.com and you can read more rider reviews about Power Commander 5s, Power Commander 3s, the specific Power Commander for your bike at RevZilla.com. Don't take my word for it, just take this knowledge as a starting point to help you ensure that you get the best experience from your bike, from a Power Commander, and you accomplish your goals when you're trying to tune and mod out your bike to get better performance from it. Thanks for watching our Power Commander buying guide at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.